The Kaboom is coming from Columbia 300 on April 18th, and I've got to be honest, I rolled my eyes when I took it out of the box, but I'm also a serious, bitter Kaboomer that ended up seriously surprised, so stick around and give it a chance. I am on the Kegel Chromium Challenge pattern at Royal Crest Lanes in Lawrence, Kansas, where they take great care of us. We always use this pattern for testing because it's a good benchmark pattern. It's not too easy, but it's not too tough, so it really helps us figure out where the balls fit and how they relate and compare to each other. The graph is linked in the description if you want to take a look at the details. My layout information is up on the screen for those that understand, and if you don't know what all these numbers mean or all the core numbers we're going to talk about next, I have a few instructional videos linked in the description that will teach you everything you need to know about cores, core dynamics, and layouts, but I still need to share the details for the more experienced viewers. The Kaboom features a unique new core shape in the symmetric detonator that comes in at a 2.529 or basically a 253 RG and an 046 differential in 15 pounds. The cover is HK22 based and this version is Reflex Pearl which is cleaner and more medium strength, meant for more medium and transition lane conditions. It's definitely pretty clean but it has more of a rolly reaction to friction. It does make a consistent defined move on the back end, but it blends friction just enough to give me a ton of room. Now I managed to throw some of these shots so bad that even this ball couldn't fix them, but generally speaking this should be very high on the list for the buys one league ball a year crowd, definitely league killer territory. A kind of an arky ball reaction, it very much reminds me of a symmetric pearl conspiracy type of roll, the arky climbing continuous motion, but that can also be a little directional if you want it to be. Short version, I had condensed my videos before because it gets old watching the same ball go down the lane non-stop for 10 minutes, but I think it really helps to see a shot followed by the same shot in slow motion so that you can key in on what happened and why it happened, and I think it also helps to watch ball reaction for a bit without also having to pay attention to someone yapping. In longer format, in-depth stuff is just what I do, so I'll catch back up with you in a minute.
The core numbers puts this ball in borderline territory for me. I mentioned in the Cypher video that higher RG cores can be a little hit and miss because they don't, they just don't see the lane early enough. And since transition isn't a thing on the left side, uh, not as far as track burn goes anyway, very often, I have little to no use for a clean transition ball. However, the shape fits my game pretty well, plus we do have a lot of older super high friction lane surfaces in Kansas City, and several of the tournaments I frequent, such as the Greater Tulsa Open, favor cleaner covers, especially now since the whole tournament is at Broken Arrow, and the Kaboom is already on the short list for the Tulsa bag. I have average speed and really like to control my ball roll, and this one lets me do that without having to fight it to get it down the lane. It did make me slow it down and roll it a little extra to get it to pick up as I got deeper, but inside third arrow on mostly fresh chromium isn't the play with this ball in the first place. Remember what we talked about in the Cypher review, if you hit a 7-iron 150 yards and you hit it off the tee of 180-yard par 3 and come up short, you can't say, oh, this club sucks, it didn't hit the ball far enough. This one is definitely built more for regular league conditions and or transition or just higher friction situations in general. I don't think it favors or lends itself more towards one bowler style or another. I think a stroker walking it down the side would like it, and I think a cranker covering boards would like it too. Speaking of the Cypher, these two are great complements. Uh, the Kaboom is a little longer and sharper, the Cypher is a little earlier and smoother, but definitely in the same reaction zone. They're slightly different shapes too. The Cypher is a little more tumbly and directional. The Kaboom is more arky and continuous. So if you put these two balls together in a league bag and kept them at their respective out-of-box surfaces, I don't really see what else you could need if you're a once or twice a week league and occasional tournament bowler, and you definitely can't beat the pair for the price. I think both balls can get deeper provided the lanes have transitioned enough or you have more hand than I do, but the flip side of that is that I think that they're going to help keep you in the same zone for longer. If you have trouble moving around on the lane for one reason or another, I don't have the rev rate to get deeper or don't have the speed to play straighter, these are more basic no frills or hype uh, blue collar ball reactions. Going back to Tulsa, I did really well putting a Tour Dynamics right up five in doubles and singles, but depending on the pair and if I have any other lefties bowling with me, uh, something like the Kaboom could come in really handy. Another reference is that it shapes a ton like a Venom Shock, which is obviously longer and sharper. I know it's hard to pry a Motive fan away from their brand, but if you're not a brand loyalist and like the sound of cleaner, sharper Venom Shock, here you go. Once again, the Kaboom releases on April 18th with Brunswick's gorgeous Beyond Infinity and Track Cypher, which is of course a nice sanded complement to the Kaboom. Down in the description is a link to Bowler's Mart that will get any of the balls featured in this video ordered for you. I do have to note that I do receive a 5% commission on all sales through the link. And of course, don't forget my code ROSEDALL10 to get 10% off your order at checkout at Coolwick. Thanks for watching and may the strikes be with you.